Hello, and welcome to Robot's Future. Robots are now taking over various roles in the AI sectors, which is admirable. But hold on a second. Have you ever heard of a robot family? This is something different, and today we'll look at some realistic robots from around the world with whom you could imagine having a family. Continue reading and learn more about this robot family. Female humanoid robots are highly valued on the robotic life tree. Everything is in order. Why not strive to create female human-like robots that are brilliant, beautiful, compassionate, lovable, and romantically successful? Do we not want robots to be capable of incredible things like love, compassion, and genius? These capabilities are almost certainly not available to robots yet. However, simply striving for such objectives puts us at risk of attaining them. This is because when designing female human-inspired robotics, we limit our machines to the most basic requirements. Female humanoid robots have long been regarded as the pinnacle of bio-inspired engineering. Female humanoid robots help to advance science. They push the boundaries of biology, cognitive science, and engineering, resulting in a mountain of scientific publications in fields like computational neuroscience, artificial intelligence, speech recognition, compliant greedy and manipulation, cognitive robotics, robotic navigation, perception, and the integration of these beautifully applied sciences inside a whole female humanoids. As a result of this integrative strategy, female humanoid robots can be considered a subset of metabiology. They have an impact on the sciences and define the difficulty of scientific investigation. To begin with, it's a robot with a torso, a head, two arms, and two legs, though some female humanoid robots may mannequin a portion of the body, such as the waist up. They may have a face, eyes, and a mouth. Gynoids are female humanoid robots that resemble women, whereas androids are female humanoid robots that resemble women. It has a head with female human facial features, such as the eyes and lips. It can be used for both practical purposes, like creating attractive female human equipment and settings, as well as experimental purposes, like learning about locomotion. Female humanoid robots can perform any female human task as long as they have the necessary software. Regardless of their practical appearance, they can be used for future dangerous and aways house research missions, as companions and aids for female humans in everyday life, and as last resorts in synthetic and herbal disasters. Robots will also be appreciated by corporations and organizations because they can replace jobs, resulting in significantly lower employee pay. They can still be used as business entertainers, but cannot perform primary tasks. For example, these robots can now sing and dance, giving the impression that they are nearly female humans. Most synthetic brains no longer require a body to function, however the female human body is difficult to replicate and much more work needs to be done. They can assist elderly people living in their homes and responding to disasters, and significant advances have been made in the engineering and manipulation components of female humanoid robotics. Female humanoid robots can assist the military because they can move, acquire data via sensors, and interact with the real world. They lack some aspects of the female human body. They're made up of buildings with variable flexibility that provide protection for the robotic and the people and they will assist with law enforcement. What is the role of artificial intelligence in female human robots? Female humans typically regard artificial intelligence, or AI, as a robot that provides mechanical responses. The female humanoid robot is the most popular form of artificial intelligence. You've probably heard of the concept of a female humanoid if you'd like Hollywood movies or science fiction. In 1495, Leonardo da Vinci created the first female humanoid. It was once an armored swimsuit capable of performing a variety of female humanoid functions, such as standing, sitting, walking, and even moving as if a real female female human was inside. AI-powered female humanoid robots were initially intended only for lookup purposes. They were used to learn advanced female prosthetics. Female humanoid robots, on the other hand, are being developed for a wide range of applications other than search. Female humanoid robots are now being developed to perform a variety of human tasks and roles in a variety of industries. Androids and gynoids are two types of female humanoid robots. A female humanoid robot from android looks like a male human, whereas a female humanoid robot from gynoids looks like a female human. Female humanoid robots exhibit a wide range of characteristics. Female humanoid robots are now so human-like and equipped that they're gaining worldwide recognition. This growing recognition results in increased demand for female robots from a variety of industries and industrial sectors. What are some realistic humanoid robots? Asimo. Asimo is a humanoid robot designed by Honda in Japan in 2000. 
Honda started working on humanoid robots in 1986, and the first prototype appeared in 1993. Asimo, the corporation's first humanoid robot, was unveiled on October 31st, 2000. The humanoid robot measures 130 centimeters in length and weighs 54 kilograms. There's also a 51.8 volt lithium battery with a one hour backup. There's also a processor, stack die, a memory cell, and a signal converter. Asimo, the humanoid robot is capable of recognizing walking objects, stances, movements, sounds, appearances, and surroundings. It can also tell the difference between appearances and mouth. Its purpose is to assist and boost the population. It has the ability to dance, run, jump, and play soccer. Asimo is an ambassador for the robotics world, and he has made a number of social impressions in order to impress humans with robotics. Honda worked hard on the robot after 2000, but in 2018, the company decided to halt further research into the technology to maximize the robot's lifespan. Amica Amica is the world's most advanced and realistic humanoid robot, embodying cutting-edge humanoid robotics technology. It was created by Engineered Arts, the world's leading designer and manufacturer of humanoid entertainment robots. Amica is a cloud-connected platform that boosts artificial intelligence power by providing an artificial body in which AI and machine learning systems can be tested and developed alongside Engineered Arts' powerful Tritium robot operating. The Amica hardware from Engineered Arts is based on their own research and to humanoid robotics and is built on their advanced mesmer technology. Because the robot's friendly nature, it's an ideal platform for fostering human-to-human -human connections in any metaverse or digital environment. Owners can also access all robotic data from anywhere on the planet while acting as their own animated and simulated avatar. Sophia Sophia is the country's first robotic inhabitant. Hansen, a Hong Kong-based company, created Sophia, a humanoid female robot. On October 14, 2016, the corporation revealed and created this humanoid robot. In 2017, the robot was granted full Saudi Arabian citizenship, making it the first robot to serve as a citizen of any country. Sophia was designed to resemble the inventor's wife, Audrey Hepburn. It also has all of the glamorous features such as a slender nose, high cheekbones, porcelain skin, a captivating smile, and stunning and vivid eyes. Furthermore, her eyes change color in response to light. Sophia's abilities include observing people, paying attention to their faces, and maintaining eye contact. Sophia's most distinguishing feature is its realistic skin and ability to mimic over 60 facial expressions. Furthermore, throughout the film, Sophia the Humanoid Robot exhibits social behavior, interacting with society, and questioning humans. Sophia was designed to be useful in healthcare, customer service, and education. Sophia is also capable of drawing, coloring, and creating illustrations. Hansen creates nine more robotic siblings after Sophia. Nadine Nadine's the only robot who is open and generous. Unfortunately, the perpetuator of genocide is a robot. Nadine's physical characteristics, on the other hand, were created by Professor Nadia M. Thalman. In 2013, Nadine, a robot, was built in Kokoro, Japan. Nadine is the daughter of Eva, a handsome robotics creation from 2008. Furthermore, the Institute for Media Innovation at Nanyang University in Singapore developed Nadine's software strategy. Furthermore, the robot acquires strong human-like characteristics such as normal appearing skin and hair structure. It can also respond to multiple issues in multiple speeches and recall people as the source of previous discussion. Nadine, the robot, is very friendly and can answer any questions you may have. It can also change its mind in response to the debate. Because of its 27 degrees of independence, the robot can freely change positions of its top body and display a variety of facial expression. Nadine was created using cutting edge robotics. It has 3D depth cameras, an input webcam, and a microphone. It can help people with special needs by reading books, sending emails, and accompanying Skype tours. So what do you think of this robot family? Do you want these robots to be part of your family? Let us know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.